Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Tech 8 RS off road boot available at Revzilla.com. So you'll see the new Tech 8 RS in front of me. On my right side, on your left. This is the white vented version, three colors available. Remember, a Tech 8 is going to be your traditional style sole, traditional style boot, one of the apex predators in the Alpine Stars line. You have that Tech 10, which is new school, molded in its construction with that one piece design. And here for the Tech 8, you're gonna see that traditional style stitch sole, as well as a traditional style leather upper. Now to my left, I have the Tech 8 Lite, which was its predecessor. It came out a few years ago, and this is now an improvement upon. And really the difference here, there's gonna be three key changes between the Tech 8 RS, which is the new model, and the Tech 8 Lite, which is going away. If we look at it immediately, you're gonna see that Alpine Stars is moving away from the traditional camlock style buckles to the new school, self-adjusting, self-cleaning buckle system, which we absolutely love. We've seen it on many of the other boots, including the Toucan and some different boots that might even play outside of the off-road or traditionally hardcore MX world. And you'll notice here, they self-adjust. They're open, they're hollow. They're going to be aluminum. Very easy to use. You can see the way they're laid out, still a four buckle design. And again, they're self-adjusting, self-cleaning. So even with gloves on, when you really muck them up, you're gonna be good to go compared to something that's gonna need a little bit of finagling once you really start to beat on them. The other key change is a little bit more subtle. You're gonna see an area of TPU on the lateral side just above your ankle bone on this bomb-proof boot. And again, they've beefed up this area right here, adding a little bit of stiffness and rigidity and protection to the outer shell of the boot. The third key change on the Tech 8 RS is actually one that you can't see with the naked eye with the boot sitting on the table. And that's because it's an update to the inner booty. Now if I reach over and pull off my inner booties here. This is actually one from the new Tech 8 RS, and you're gonna see immediately this is the original Tech 8 Lite. You still have 3D Tech Mesh, but what you're getting in the new version is a full booty, fully encapsulating with that 3D Tech Mesh. There's a light spandex or stretch material to it, and the old version was open air, and it was harder to use. It was harder to get in and out of the boot. It still had the removable footbed, but again, you just had that non-ease of use factor because this is much easier to get in and out of the boot. If I reach inside of it, you're gonna see I can remove the footbed, which is replaceable. It's going to have that EVA shock absorbing foam. And then again, you're seeing it's fully lined with wicking 3D tech mesh to pull the sweat away from your foot. You also still have the gel pads both medially and laterally. They are replaceable here in the ankle area. And again, that's a nice functional and comfort factor in the new upgrade here on the Tech 8 RS. Now, if I take my traditional Tech 8 Lite, I'm gonna move it over. Let's walk through the nuances of the Tech 8 RS start to finish if you're brand new to the boot. And remember, Fitment is going to be American sizing. They have no issues here on this MX style boot from Alpine Stars. Size is actually up to size 15 on the Tech 8 RS, which is a really nice touch for those big, big boy sizes. A lot of adjustability here. But if you're still concerned about fit or usage, Remember, we ship for free over 39 bucks, no questions there. We make it really, really painless. And I'd love it if you click here, subscribe to Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Tech 8 RS. Let me know what you think. Now, we've talked about the bomb-proof nature. We've talked about the traditional application of this dual stitch sole, which is going to be replaceable, very much an old school style motocross boot instead of, you know, playing there and giving you a pro level option instead of what would be new school, which would be that mono fuse design or that area of fully molded with a lot of microfiber versus traditional leather. Now there is an RS factor here on this boot and that RS is rear spine. And what you're gonna see is you had it on the Tech 8 Lite, but you still have a rear spine here, which gives you a little bit more support as well as guards against hyperextension and hyperflexion. That goes up the back of the Achilles tendon. Many folks think that this did not exist on this boot and that's where that RS comes into play. Alpine is really calling it out. Now on the Tech 10, they have it that goes all the way down. On the Tech 8 RS, you get it halfway and going all the way up. But again, you're making a larger and even larger investment on that Tech 10 in a little bit of new school functionality there. Now we look at the boot itself. Remember, you're gonna be full grain leather in a majority of the chassis. You're gonna have some microfiber work its way in. This is the white version. Alpine Stars does vented, which is the vented or perforated version here in the white. Keep that in mind. And you'll notice it is meant to be bomb proof. Dual recess stitching on this TPU, this molded area, which which gives you a tremendous amount of toe protection. You're gonna have these stamped stainless steel heel and toe plates here. Again, this kick plate just keeping it more protected in a high use area. As you work your way back, you're going to see 
you have your areas where your buckles sit. Now, if we look, they've moved this adjustable buckle on top of the foot. You had that in the previous version as well. They get it away from the side so it's not sheared off if you happen to low side on your bike and guys that are riding MX are down all the time. We all know that. And moving back, again, staying with our bomb proof theme here, notice the massive ankle cockpit. You see your eight for your Tech 8, and as we work it around, you're gonna have this stamped heel counter here working its way in. Again, crush proof. Lots and lots of beefed up functionality knowing that you're at war when you're with your motorcycle outside riding off-road. It's just a whole different ball of wax. Moving to the medial side, you'll see this is the right side. This has the removable Kickstarter plate here that you can wear out over time and you can completely remove and replace, which is a nice touch. And notice, starting with our toe and working our way on the medial side here, you're going to see a few different densities or durometers of rubber molded here. Dual recess stitching, so you're not going to chew up those stitches, not going to come apart on you. Again, beefy bomb-proof TPU. Hard parts, hard armor working its way back into the malleolus bone all the way up. You'll notice the durometer changes. The feel of this rubber becomes softer, becomes a little more pliable, a little bit tackier. As you work your way up into the heat shield, it's going to interface with the plastics in your bike. And notice it is aluminum backed, so giving you additional heat shielding properties here, reflecting that heat back off the boot and keeping you more comfortable as you ride. Looking at the front of the boot, you're going to see a lot of TPU working its way up into shin protection here. Again, there's a nice area of dense foam behind it, so it's going to be comfortable. Again, these are the beefy bomb-proof areas that you need in place if you're riding at MX that are going to keep your feet and your shins intact as you're pushing the limits, as you're potentially having many a get-off on your bike because we know guys that rock these boots ride really hard. Now, if I open up the boot, you're going to see some of the inner guts here. You're going to see a lot of 3D tech mesh. See how easy they come apart. Very, very nice in their construction. I love these new school style buckles. Notice the Velcro at the top, and you're going to see a gator. Gator's perforated. It comes all the way up. It's going to stop right there, and it's going to give you a good chance of keeping out mud and grime and just keeping you from being a little bit drier, a little bit cleaner, longer. And notice here on the vented version, it is perforated to flow a little bit more air. Now you can see on the inside, there's my 3D tech mesh, which is wicking, and it ends with this soft rubber at the top. Now I'm gonna say it's probably a six out of 10 on the hardness scale. I call it a soft rubber because it's not as beefy as some of the TPU, but still, you're gonna wanna wear high socks, you're gonna wanna wear your gear, put your pants inside, because again, if it was just directly against your skin, it'll probably chew you up pretty good. But again, they give you that great seal at the top of the boot. You'll also notice that the booty is in this boot. You're gonna see it right there. I haven't pulled my right side boot out and it stops right there. So it stops just before the top of the gator and then you work your way into an area of that 3D tech mesh which is really meant to pull a lot of the sweat away from your leg, allow it to evaporate out through the full grain leather while you are working your way through this boot. Now, as I buckle this bad boy up, let's talk a little bit about the stole. And again, you're going for an old school style sole. And I don't mean it's old technology. I just meant it's a preference. And a lot of guys like this style sole because it's how they grew up riding. And again, you're not really trading off a ton here. You're getting the replaceability. You're getting that stitched factor of this sole, which is fully shanked. It's going to give you great support on the bike. And if we turn it down like this, you're going to notice. Notice my toe plate, my kick plate comes all the way around the front, again, keeping it from splitting. And you'll see this large area here, which is fully replaceable, because this is the area your foot pegs are gonna completely chew up on the boot. So again, you're buying this, this is an heirloom product. It's meant to last a bunch of seasons if you take care of it. And if you start to wear through that sole, you can fire it back to Alpine Stars and they will replace that sole for you. So you have that replaceability factor. And again, that's what you're investing here in a higher end boot. Remember, this bad boy is traditional in its application, it's gonna, but it's also gonna be the big brother of something like a Tech 7, which which is more of that super cross low profile style boot. Then you move into the big boy, it's, it's big brother, which is gonna be the Tech 10, which again is that more futuristic spaceship of a boot. And again, using some of the more leading edge technology from Alpine Stars. But again, like Judge Smales once said in Caddyshack, you're no slouch either. Actually, Chevy Chase said that, I believe. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider re reviews of the new Tech 8 RS from Alpine Stars at Revzilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And and if you want to talk to a gear geek and walk through the nuances, compare it to the Tech 7, compare it to the Tech 10. You want to just call and talk Caddyshack jokes, I don't care. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown video. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.